Now, a lot of people don't know your Apple TV remote actually has the ability to update its firmware to add more features as you move on to OS 17 for your Apple TV. Now, these new features vary, but a lot of people have issues upgrading their Apple TV remote because there are no setting options to upgrade it compared to Fire TV or even Nvidia Shield where you can automatically do that yourself. So I thought I would take the information I've learned on how to update your Apple TV remote and kind of show you the best way to do it. Now, if you guys are new to the channel, hit the subscribe button right down below, give this video a big thumbs up. And like always for the first hour to two hours of this video, I'll answer all of your questions and comments down below. So drop them and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. All right, let's get into this update. Now, one of the new features when you update your Apple TV remote right here is the find my option with your iPhone. So you can click the find my option and it will give you a signal that lets you know as you move your Apple TV remote closer or farther away, it will let you know. It's a really cool new feature, but there's a few things we need in order to utilize some of these new features. So step one is go into your iPhone settings and check your software. Now, if your phone can be updated to iOS 17, I know a lot of people like myself forget to do the big updates. Go ahead and make sure it's updated to 17. Uh, if not, there's some features you won't be able to use. Now, step two is actually done directly on your Apple TV box. And in order to accomplish this, we have to go into settings and we have to scroll down to system. Now, in order for your Apple TV remote to upgrade to its newest firmware, you have to make sure your Apple TV is actually up to date as well. So go into the system setting, click on software updates, and then click on update software. Now, I just updated mine so you can see your Apple TV is up to date. If you automatically update, that will just do it while your Apple TV is in sleep mode. So when you're not using it, stuff like that. So it's really easy to do. Once you check and make sure your software is up to date, let's move to the next step. So although you can't update your Apple TV remote on your device automatically, you can check what software version it's on. So go into, we gotta go back here, remotes and devices, and you wanna scroll down until you find remote. It'll have a battery percentage. Make sure it's over 50% for the updates. You can plug this in before. Um, I don't think it really matters, but Apple doesn't really tell you. So I would just assume if it's too low of a battery, they won't update the firmware. Click on remote and it's gonna tell you your firmware version right there. Now I'm on 0x33 and that seems to be the most current firmware. I have the brand new Apple TV box. This is the ethernet version, the 4K that came out in 2022. And along with that, I just did the update. So before that it was like 0x28 or 27. Um, I hadn't updated in a while. All right, let's talk about how to actually update your remote now. Now, like I said, the interesting part is there's no way to update it yourself, but the simple way is Apple seems to automatically do the update while your device is asleep. So if you're one of those people that are constantly unplugging your device or maybe leaving it awake or something like that, uh, here's what I suggest doing that worked for me. Have your Apple TV box. You're gonna hold down your command center button and you can do this on every Apple TV box. And then I just go to the power off option at the top here, or you can also do it directly on your remote, of course, just press that off button. This doesn't actually power it off, it just puts it into sleep mode. If you want, we could also set a sleep timer for 15 minutes and it will just turn it off automatically, but this is definitely the easiest way. Now take your remote, put it on top or somewhere close to your device. I would suggest putting it within a few inches of it. This just tells it when it's asleep, your Apple TV box will automatically start that firmware update. Now, when you go back into your device, so let's start up our device here and we go to our setting. After you leave it, I left mine for around 15 minutes and then it was updated. Go to your remote option and it should say the new firmware. So leave it for 15 minutes. If that's not the case, just leave it overnight and it should automatically update. If you're still having issues, I do suggest a factory reset which can be done by going to system and reset right there. Otherwise, that's it guys. Really quick, simple tutorial on how to upgrade your Apple TV remote. Hope you enjoyed. See you in the next one.